Have you ever wondered about the differences between the Leon Burger and the Bernese Mountain Dog? Well, in today's video, we're going to be comparing these two large, powerful canines to see which one would be the perfect addition for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Leon Burger Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Leon Burger Show. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. First, let's look at the history of the Leon Burger. The Leon Burger originated from the city of Leonberg in Germany. It was bred to look like the lion on the Leon Burger coat of arms and they soon became a symbolic breed. Leon Burgers were bred as watchdogs and farm dogs to help pull carts. The breed was created by the mayor of the town, Henry Jessig. He created the Leon Burger when crossing a Barry de Menschretter, a Newfoundland and a Pyrenees mountain dog. The first Leon Burgers were born and registered in 1846. The Leon Burger soon became a popular breed and royals across Europe wanted to acquire their own. The Leon Burger's image we are more familiar with today was developed in the 20th century. The breed nearly became extinct during the First World War and this is because of their owners who fled or were killed and the breed was left to fend for themselves. It was reported that only eight Leon Burgers survived World War II. And thanks to lovers of the breed, Leon Burgers can have their ancestors traced all the way back to World War II survivors. In the early 20th century, Leon Burgers were brought over to Canada to be used as water rescue dogs. The UK Kennel Club first recognised Leon Burgers in 1978 and the American Kennel Club recognised them as the 167th breed in 2010 as part of the working breed. Next, let's look at the history of the Bernese Mountain Dog. The Bernese Mountain Dog was originally bred as a drover dog, draft dog and farm dog. Farmers used these dogs because they could pull heavy carts full of milk and cheese. The Bernese Mountain Dog is also known as the Berner Senenhund in their natural native land, or Cheese Dog as their role of moving cheese from the farm to markets gifted this name. Their name comes from the district of Bern found in Switzerland. The Bernese Mountain Dog was first registered by the American Kennel Club in 1937. The Leon Burger was bred to have the appearance of a lion so they looked like the town's coat of arms. They reach their full size at the age of one, however they're not fully matured until the age of three. Male Leon Burgers usually stand at 28 to 31 inches at the withers and weigh between 100 to 150 pounds. Females stand between 26 and 30 inches at the withers and weigh between 90 to 140 pounds. They're a strong muscular breed that have a broad head, medium sized ears that hang close to the head, strong legs and a fluffy tail that hangs low. Leon Burgers come in seven colour varieties, including black, brown, grey, cream, red, sable and brindle. Leon Burgers of any of these colours should all have a black facial mask. They have a dense double coat that should be brushed every two to three days to keep their coat looking sleek and clean. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a large breed. Male Bernese Mountain Dogs usually stand at 25 to 27 and a half inches at the withers and weigh between 80 to 115 pounds. Females stand at 23 to 26 inches at the withers and weigh between 70 to 95 pounds. Bernese Mountain Dogs have a very iconic, striking tricolored coat of black, white and a rust colour. They have dark brown oval eyes, high set triangular medium sized ears and a broad head. Their neck is muscular which leads to a strong back and they have well developed powerful legs and a fluff, full fluffy tail. This breed has a double coat that has a woolly undercoat and they should be brushed weekly or even daily when shedding to help remove any loose hairs and keep their coat clean. The Leon Burger is a moderately active breed that require at least an hour of exercise every day. They excel at dog sports like agility, dog diving, sledging and karting and they also love swimming and joining you on hikes or runs. Leon Burgers can be stubborn during training as they want to do things on their own terms. However, they do love to please their owners. The best training method for this breed is positive reinforcement, plenty of treats and a calm consistent leader to look up to for guidance and instruction when needed. Leon Burgers are a working breed and they get on best when they have a job to do. So training them in one or more of these dog sports I've mentioned previously can have a great way of keeping them entertained and focused. If you've socialised your Leon Burger from puppyhood to every different situation you can think of, they should become well-rounded polite dogs. However, without training, they can become nervous or aggressive. 
It's also worth bearing in mind that this breed does not respond well to harsh tones or punishments. Persistence is key when training, and you should always remain calm when around your Leon Burger. The Bernese Mountain Dog is renowned to being a sweet-natured, gentle dog. They have a good temperament and are loyal to their family. Of course, early socialisation to different dogs, people, sights, sounds and smells is essential to ensure your Bernese Mountain Dog becomes a confident and well-mannered dog. This breed does very well at tracking agility, carting, obedience, sledding, confirmation and rescue work in dog sports. Bernese Mountain Dogs love to help you around the house in any way that they can, by fetching and carrying things for you. They love to please their owners, which tends to make their training easier than other breeds. Bernese Mountain Dogs respond best to positive training and fun short training sessions. They do take a while to mature through both physically and mentally and can stay puppyish in their attitude for a while. They're a sensitive breed that don't respond well to harsh corrections, so a calm, consistent leader is a must with this breed. It's always essential that you socialise your puppy from the moment you get them home, as this breed can become aggressive to other animals if not socialised to smaller and larger dogs and other animals. This isn't to say, however, that if you socialise your dog thoroughly enough through puppyhood, they couldn't live alongside other animals. If you choose to have your Leonberger with other animals, never leave them alone together. Leonbergers have a reputation to be gentle giants with children. They are an intelligent breed who are loyal and affectionate with all the family. Just be careful with small children, as Leonbergers are big dogs and they could accidentally knock over small children. It's important that you teach any children how to treat and approach your puppy and when to leave them alone to have some quiet time on their own. You should never leave your children in your Leonberger unsupervised and children should never approach them if they're eating or sleeping. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a breed that gets along extremely well with all children. However, as I've previously said, it's always best to supervise large dogs with children as they could accident they could cause accidents due to the dog forgetting their size during playtime. Bernese Mountain Dogs can act goofy when with their family and they adore playtimes and a long game of fetch. They also get on very well with other dogs and pets. They should always be socialised with cats and other animals so they don't see other animals as prey. However, I would also never recommend uh, leaving any animals supervised as the Bernese Mountain Dog is large and accidents can happen. Both the Leon Burger and the Bernese Mountain Dog are great family guardians that excel with calm, consistent leaders. They're certainly both family focused by nature and love to help you out any way they can by doing jobs around the house. Both would be a perfect addition to a family looking for a lovable watchdog to protect their family. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Leon Burger videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Leon Burger Show.